Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at a furnace in an attic that the homeowner wanted moved out of a closet in her house, it was in the hallway, and we moved this furnace up to the attic. So I'm gonna go through the system, kind of tell you about how we did that, and everything going on up here, that way you can understand what it takes to move a furnace to an attic and what we did. Uh, as always, please uh, like my page and subscribe to my channel as uh, we will have more videos that are very important coming up this year about heat pumps, furnaces, fan coils, ductless split systems, and stuff like that. Um, okay, so to get started, um, we moved this furnace from a closet, which was actually just below here. We put a piece of wood over that closet. So to accomplish moving this to the attic, a few things have to happen. We have to bring electrical up here. So the furnace plugs into a plug. So we relocated electrical up here. And then this gas pipe right here, we had to relocate the gas from the closet upstairs. And I'll go around this side so I can show you that the gas line is right there. And we brought it up from the closet and it hooks right into the unit. So this is a carrier furnace. It's a single stage system. Um, the other things that we had to do is we actually hung the furnace. So it's suspended on, on a unistrut and it's with all thread and it's suspended from the rafters of the ceiling. Um, we earthquake strap it right here so it doesn't move at all. Um, we adapted to the flue vent right here. So we have our flue vent coming out and going up through the roof, which is strapped and everything. We had to bring our refrigerant lines, which are right here, over to the horizontal coil. So in the closet, everything is vertical. So in the attic, everything goes horizontal, so we have plenty of room. Um, we also have a drain pan underneath right here. We have our primary drain line comes off with a trap. That goes into a drain in the attic over there. And then over here, we have a secondary drain line, which comes off. And that runs outside and drips over a bathroom window. And our third fail safe would be our drain pan right here. And if you look underneath, you can see there is a kill switch on that. So if any water um, for some reason gets clogged in the primary or secondary drain, it would go into the pan and kill the system so you don't have any leakage. Um, we also have what's called an I-Wave air purifier. And that is mounted on the side of the furnace right here. Um, that basically cleans the air. It's an ionization product that puts out positive and negative ions into the airstream, through your ductwork, into the rooms, and attaches the particles and kills them. Um, the other things that we did up here is we did all new ductwork, which you can see. So prior to us doing this job, the insulation guys came in and cleaned out all the insulation and sanitized the attic, and they'll be coming back to put insulation under our ductwork. So we strapped all the ductwork up so it's suspended as you can see. Ran all new R6 flex duct. We had to add the return plenum here, which these are big return ducts that run to grills in your ceiling now. Instead of being under the furnace closet, they are now in the ceiling. So we have one over there. And then we ran another return duct off this side to the other side of the house that way. That way it's pulling heat out of the house from two different areas making it a lot more even in the house and more comfortable. We obviously put a platform in front of the furnace here that you can step on. That way you can work on the furnace if you need to. Um, on this side, we have the new supply plenum, which is where the supply ducts come off. So it pulls in air on this side through those return grills. It goes through your system and it pushes out on this side through the supply ducts, which are ran all over the house, which we redesigned, we upsized the duct for a lot quieter and better airflow throughout the house. We strapped all of them, like I said before, so they're all hung up and you can see they're all insulated wherever there is metal on them and they go all over the house to the different bedrooms, the living room, kitchen, stuff like that. So that's pretty much about it for this, this, this system. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below, or you can also call us at 714-526-6368, or check us out on our website at www.albertair.com, and, it's, and uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our page for more informational videos about HVAC products coming up. Thank you.